Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial series, we will learn about Spring Boot. So in this part, we will learn about application dot properties. How we can use application dot properties in Spring Boot as we earlier do some configuration in Spring Framework in application dot property or application dot yml file. But as Spring Boot specify convention over configuration means it specifies certain conventions through which we don't have to you know configure most of the things but still we can configure certain things in spring boot also if we want to customize those things suppose i wanted to change my port from 8080 the default server port that spring boot provides tomcat embedded server in its application so if i wanted to change it to another different port besides of 8080 as 8080 is my reserve port in, in my application that has been used by some other uh, some other internal you know uh, front end side application or uh, with whatever server i have assigned that port okay so i uh, unable to use i'm unable to use that 880 port so in that case i can also you know change that configuration in spring boot also in application dot properties i can change that so so uh, spring boot uh, you know is very opinionated uh, we it specifies the convention over configuration but still we can change certain configuration and can make use of application dot properties to configure application so we can configure certain amount of configs there be it you know server properties or changing the server port changing the path of our controller in our application adding up the dev tool properties adding up certain testing properties you know adding up spring profiling where we uh, will be having uh, five to six property file included be it the application dot property that is the main property file i'll be creating a dev properties for dev profile for qa profile a qa properties for pre-prod and prod environment so different property files will be creating so making use of spring profiling so with spring boot profiling we will you know not segregate at one place single place are all configuration so we will in next video see about what is exactly spring boot profiling is and how it, it would be helpful for us to making use in our spring boot application so application dot properties let's go to our code and see exactly how we can configure different properties or different configs in this so i have opened my sts so last time we created this project and now we are going to config certain configuration in it so whenever we create a spring boot project or whenever we create any spring project the main folders for src main java so inside this a java folder will be created and also inside main one java folder is there and also there is one resources folder so inside resources folder there resides say application dot properties where we will be configuring our configs up so if you have seen up earlier what we do is if we wanted to include our property file or our config file what we will be doing is we will be making use of an annotation at the rate import resource and where what we will do we will just point this to suppose i have this in class path then i'll be writing this application dot properties and this will you know point to my application dot properties but what in spring boot we don't have to do you know write up those import resources annotation and you know mapping our application dot properties or uh, not application dot property any you know property file or you know any uh, if you want to have config suppose if you wanted to have a hibernate in your application and you wanted to you know uh, write up those hibernate you know properties in config files like hi uh, hibernate have hibernate.cfd.xml file you wanted to you know include those property in the property files you can also do so in the uh, java class also by creating a bean and writing up data source and you know writing up all those property in java files in upcoming video i'll also show you how we can you know include hibernate or any orm in our application and you know into the database so i have shown you like earlier what we do we just tried this not in the main just consider it as all well. let me just create one class for you so it will better understand application config so i have created one application config what earlier we do is we you know create this 
application config file and what we do is you know writing up all our configurations here but uh, in spring boot application we don't have to you know config any of the application because spring boot does the convention and we don't have to do any configuration means less configuration we need to do so earlier what we do is we just import resource we make use of this annotation inside this class path and application dot properties okay so i write this annotation and with help of this annotation what this import resource annotation is basically it's used to you know load up the beans from the beat application properties or you know earlier we make use of spring.xml or application context.xml file so that it loads the beans into the application context so this annotation we make use to you know load up the properties file or include the properties file but we don't have to you know make use of this property uh, this annotation anymore because spring boot automatically you know traces this application dot properties file and include all those property in your class itself so we don't have to do this and one more thing is suppose if i wanted to you know change my port so i'm just going to write that config server dot port 9000 uh, let me also comment out this so let me just first run this application so i'll be running it as spring boot app so we can see our application is up and by scrolling let me just scroll we can see tomcat started on port 8080 so by default or the embedded port of tomcat server is 8080 and we can see in pom.xml also that we have included this in spring boot starter web spring boot starter tomcat you can see that we have included tomcat as an embedded web server but if you wanted to change your web server from tomcat to any other web server be it chatty or any web server you want to do you can also do so in pom.xml so coming back to our topic application properties so this has been configured as 8080 but if i wanted to configure at uh, different you know configure different port we can do so by ch changing and i'm just going to uncomment this so now my application will be running on server dot port 9000 that i have set in my application dot properties so my application will be ran on this 9000 port so this situation may arise in your project so you can easily change your server port for tomcat now i'm just going to again run my application so right click run a spring boot app okay so it's just saying an application already running i'm just going to stop this just going to restart my application okay i can see my application started on 9000 port so be it any port suppose 9000 is also occupied so it will just prompt you that 9000 port has been occupied or some exception it will true so you can also change it be it 7070 and i'm just going to stop my application again to test my application i'm just going to restart my application now i can see it started running on 7070 port so we can do so and there may be a situation arise suppose your application is running on uh, let me just write this your application is running on localhost 7070 and you have api get data okay so you have that api get it and you just wanted to you know change the context part so you can also do so in your application wanted to run by a specific context part you can also do so by changing or by using one configuration in application dot properties the config is servlet dot servlet okay it's server yeah servlet server dot servlet hyphen context or suppose i wanted to have your micro services so now what will happen is if i suppose created one controller and in my application now all services will be i have to you know write my all services like this while you know calling my services microservices get data so i have just added the context path in my you know 
config properties so from this place whatever controller i am just using in my application in my microservices then all the endpoints will have to write up this context path okay so we can also do so in different configuration uh, like i've told you we can do so application dot properties uh, in this we can do so spring profiling we can do so actuator configuration if we wanted to you know attach uh, dat database so in upcoming videos i'm just going to show you how we can do uh, attached hibernate in our spring boot project and we can uh, you know use all those data source uh, spring data source config and username password and schema name of database in our application dot properties and uh, this application dot properties gets automatically picked up by those beans and we can use db in our project so spring itself show you shows you some you know configurations uh, properties where we can you can do so let me just open the official documentation okay so i have opened this documentation provided by spring common application property so so spring says like various properties can be specified inside our application properties file or you can also have viable file as your command and switches so we can you know include the core properties inside this we can include the actuator properties we can use the spring profiling we can use the console properties we can use the web properties server properties database properties testing properties different types of properties as accordance to our need of the project or application we can use in our application properties so if we can use you know those properties and in the next video we will going to see what exactly is spring profiling and how we can use those properties in our project so that's it for today guys if you have any suggestion or any comment or if you wanted to you know have any question or any just suggestion be just open the comment out in my videos and i'll make sure to reply as quickly as i can and yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you.